So I thought this was a funny headline that I would share with you. Uber asks its India drivers to ensure rear seat belts in their cars work. Really? Well, something apparently happened. Now they're checking up on all the India drivers and making sure they actually have seat belts, right? I mean, here it's a given. They check it. Uh, but more funny than that, I find this billboard like that, that they're running in India. It says AC air conditioning car rides in five minutes. Do you remember when all the India drivers, uh, or not all of them, but most of them went on strike and they said, you know what? Gas is so high, you're not supporting us with any uh, uh, gasoline surge, uh, surcharges. So what we're going to do is we're going to save on gas. We're going to switch the ACs off. And this really worked because all the India drivers band together. They switched their, their ACs off and it made a lot of headlines and it embarrassed Uber, right? So that's why they're saying here now, oh, by the way, passengers, um, you know, we fixed that problem. And by the way, AC car rides in five minutes pay with cash or pay TM wallet, first ride free, use code NCR. So a lot of damage control I can see they're doing in that, um, you know, reading between the lines, of course, that's my interpretation. But uh, New Delhi, uh, and, and, and great country, been there, traveled, it, it, it is an amazing country, I'll tell you that. Uh, ride hailing company Uber Technologies has asked its drivers in India to ensure backseat seat belts in their vehicles are accessible to passengers, and they work. Days after a local business tycoon died in a crash involving his private car, a tycoon. So obviously he must have a lot of pull, made a lot of noise, big lawsuits, and guess what? Uber once again is doing damage control. The move comes amid a growing road safety push in India, the world's fourth largest car market. Early in September, Cyrus Mystery, the former chairman of India's Tata Sons, died in a crash involving his Mercedes. Uh, and local media reported he was not wearing a seatbelt while seated at the back. To avoid any fines or complaints by riders, please ensure the seatbelts on the back seats are accessible and functional, Uber said in in an advisory to its drivers on Tuesday, which was seen by Reuters. A source with direct knowledge also said Uber was conducting checks at airports to ensure its drivers were complying with seatbelt norms. Uber did not immediately respond to a request for comment. Obviously not, because it's embarrassing. Its Indian competitor, Ola, which is backed by SoftBank Group, also sent an advisory to drivers in recent weeks to enforce seatbelt rules. This comes at a time when the government is also trying to push through a series of measures to improve, improve road safety in a country that has the world's deadliest roads. That is true. The World Bank said last year that India had a death on its roads every four minutes. India already has rules mandating passengers in the back seat to wear seatbelts, but only a few comply. Enforcement is also poor despite the provision of a fine of 1,000 rupees. I don't know how much that is. Please somebody tell me in the comments box. But really what I find funniest of all is this billboard, right? Because what, you know, if, if only drivers in the United States or Canada, if, they, if you wanted to strike or put pressure on Uber, if you would consolidate and work together like the India drivers, that's why I admire them, right? They all switched off the air conditioning, you know? Screw the passengers. Uh, Uber's not helping us. We're going to save um, gas by switching off the AC, it had a ripple ripple effect around the world, those newspaper articles. I even made videos about it. Here they are, AC car rides, air conditioning car rides in five minutes. They would never ever run an ad like that in the United States. Please, I'd love to hear your comments. Rip loose, put them down below. Have a great day, stay safe.